Man, how y'all doing today, man? I hope y'all having a great day, morning, night, and evening, noon, and so forth, be it. I want to talk about blessings and opportunities. Sometimes you never know where your blessings going to come from. You never know what plan the higher power has in store for you. But sometimes we get so caught up in trying to hold on to the things that we currently have or we get so caught up in in holding on to the knowledge that we have currently learned and we don't make room for new things but when you're determined to still going after what you want to go out there and chasing your dreams the higher power will make room for you to get you that blessing that he know you deserve so we're going to talk about that man because i've seen a story man where a blessing was brought to a young lady when somebody thought that they was ending her blessing and she's still a sweet sweet young lady the way she handled it so she in my opinion deserves everything that she gets her attitude says it all let's go ahead and look at this man check this video out but y'all know what we gotta do man because it wouldn't be right if we didn't do it what is that you better go on and back up. Back Southside, up. man, and mailman in the building, bruh. Nino! Nino! What you hollering when you scream, bruh? Mailman. Yeah, 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 man. It's your guy, mailman, bruh. I hope y'all having a great day again. I hope everything is going smooth, man. So have you ever been doing something just um, just to learn it or because you love to do it? And again, that that just doing it turn into an actual gig um and start really paying the bills and in this particular situation we're talking about a young lady that um became a brand ambassador um just out doing something that she loved and she's doing great and i'm very very happy and proud of her because i'm trying to learn this this um social media thing i'm not great at it but i'm good at running my mouth that's what i am good at and I think I do have pretty good opinions and outlooks on things. And I have a lot of knowledge in this brain that I can share with the world. So them are the things that I am good at. And I do feel like that I can bring value to a lot of people's lives. And I can I can definitely uplift people in a different way than some YouTubers probably can. You have um, some people that are uplift in this way. I'm not saying that what they're doing is wrong or right. I'm just saying I do it different. I do it my way. That's what I'm saying. So I just try to bring away to this internet in the way that I can, but I don't know how, how these people get these hundred thousand views and half a million views and all these likes and they go viral and they blow up. I'm trying to learn that. But this young lady I'm about to talk about and about to show this video on, um, it seemed like it just organically happened for her. And that's just the thing. When God got something that's meant for you, it's going to happen for you. No, no, no matter what. So let's look at this man and check out this young lady. I'm going to get my opinion of how I feel about everything that this young lady has done and that's doing for her. You know, and then we can, we, we can chop it up and talk. And this stuff over here to the side, y'all. Again, like I told you, I'm trying to learn this um, YouTube thing. So I got these analytics of just trying to learn how things work. So don't mind this stuff over here to the side. That's something I'm trying to learn myself because i'm trying to really make this youtube youtube thing uh become a stream of income let's check this out though welcome back on this friday morning everyone we are 45 minutes after the hour a major fast food chain made a major mistake when it decided not to allow one of its employees to continue making tiktoks about the food miriam webb is a former employee at chick-fil-a now but when she worked there she would make videos about new menu items and then share her chick-fil-a food hacks with her many followers. Her videos were so popular, they garnered millions of views. But that all came to a screeching halt when Chick-fil-A asked her to stop making the videos. You know the saying, when one door closes, another door opens? Well, that's exactly what happened to Webb. Shake Shack and several other companies saw the value in her videos. Now she has so many sponsors and she was able to say goodbye to her fast food job. Y'all, I guess it just got her first ever PR box. First ever girl. I feel, like, I feel like an influencer for real. Now I got a PR box. <laughs> Joining me now is the TikTok star herself, Miriam Webb. Miriam, good morning. Welcome. Hey, hello. Hello. 
Well, congratulations on all your success. Take us through your TikTok journey. How did it all get started? Oh my goodness. So I started back in January of 2024 on my break, just wanting something to do that was fun and quick and something to keep me occupied during my break. Did I know that it was going to skyrocket? Absolutely not. Um, but after about the third or fourth video, it started taking off. We started at 100,000 views, then 200,000, then 500,000, then a million, then 2.4 million, then 3 million. So I kind of just expanded out of nowhere. Um, and it's been a journey. It's been scary. It's been an emotional roller coaster. But I'm so grateful for the opportunity. I'm so grateful for everyone who supported me, loved on me, commented, Aww. even reached out to, to Chick-fil-A to try to defend me. People have poured their love into me and I felt every part of it. So it's been a lovely journey. So let's talk about Chick-fil-A. How do they find out about your videos and what did they then say to you after they found out? Okay, so what happened was a blog reached out to Chick-fil-A PR basically saying, hey, how do you feel about your employee making these videos? And Chick-fil-A said, well, we don't know who you're talking about, no comment, but who is this young lady? And so Chick-fil-A spent about three days trying to find me because I never said what Chick-fil-A I worked at. So it took them a minute to find me. And then once they did find me, they reached out to me and they were very sweet. You know, I want to make that very clear that it wasn't an aggressive conversation. I wasn't bullied into the decision. You know, we all sat down and they just explained to me that my videos didn't break um, an employee rule, which was just filming in your uniform at the restaurant. Mm. And so we had that conversation and I, I took it humbly. You know, it wasn't a big deal. They were so sweet about it, you know, You're and um, especially for, oh, go ahead. You know, you're still speaking so positively about them, which I love. But then Shake Shack reached out to you and other companies are sponsoring you. Tell me about those other companies and how Shake Shack reached out. It happened so quickly. And I also want to note, you know, you were saying how I was able to leave my Chick-fil-A job. It wasn't because I was like, oh, I'm so much better than Chick-fil-A now. It was more like my schedule was getting so busy because it was opportunity after opportunity after opportunity. I just got flown out by Zaxi's. Um, to Savannah, Georgia, to do a collab with them. I mean, it has been so insane, the amount of partnerships and deals I have right now. My life has changed literally overnight, overnight. Well, it's obviously well-deserved. I'm curious, have you heard from Chick-fil-A since, especially considering you've seen so much other success with other fast food chains like Shake Shack? You know what? I have not. I have not, but I do still go visit my store. I was just there last Friday. I came and said hi to everybody, and everybody was so supportive, gave me all the hugs and all the love. So officially, the company Yes, I reached out to people at my personal store. They love me and they support me so much. Well, you're so inspiring. That's why. And your personality, truly, it's so joyous. I'm really enjoying talking to you. Very quickly here, Miriam, dream PR box or kind of dream sponsor that you'd love. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh. Rihanna Fenty Beauty. Rihanna, if oh. you see this, if you see this, I'm wearing your foundation. Okay? I love you, girl. Call me. Riri, me too. Oh, let me oh, let me oh, hitch that wagon to Miriam. Yes. Let, I mean, yes, we're manifesting it right now, Miriam. Well, congratulations <laughs> to all your success. Here's to Riri watching. Miriam Webb, thank you so much. Thanks for watching, everybody. All right, man. So I wanna I'm just gonna make this real straight to the point, simple. Um, what I wanna say here is Congratulations to that young lady on all the success that she's on um, has achieved, um, and, and, and um, the future, the current success, and to her future success. And the thing is, like, whoa, she said she just started it in January 2024. Like, it's not, it's it's only May, and it just took off. I'm assuming this took off probably around about March or April. So it's not been long for her to just take off. Um, and that was through TikTok. So, you know, I don't know. I'm trying to learn. Anybody that is teaching me how to work this, learn this thing, I'm definitely trying to learn. I'm open to it. But to get to the one, my point is what I'm trying to say is in life, take this young lady here for an example. People don't always see your value. The people that you might be around that you're trying to get to see your value may not always see your value. They could be your friend for years. They could be your friends for the last six months or so forth on, but they might not see your value. And sometimes people get caught up in since somebody currently or that, that, that in a circle doesn't see their value, mean they, they can get discouraged and um, they will sometimes quit um or, or just go to another job or something stop talking about it because they don't want to be embarrassed 
don't never get embarrassed about your dreams or chasing what you feel is meant for you because again if one person doesn't see your value that doesn't mean there's not there's not a stranger or somebody you haven't met or somebody on this internet that we call the world wide web that's not watching your video and see your value chick-fil-a had an asset in the bag that was promoting their products yes even though you're a big big company multi-billion dollar company but as we have all seen there's no company that never has room to grow every company is always trying to grow chick-fil-a had an asset on their hand that could have help their brand grow yeah again like i just said we know they're a billion dollar company they don't need help to make money but it never hurts if you have somebody that loves your product that much that's promoting your product why not embrace that and take that under your belt because your competition did shake shack zaxby's um um and probably uh many 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 other people are going to embrace that asset that you had once and I'm sure now that even if you can always circle back to that asset, but the value, well, let me say this, the price that you probably would have got that asset for no longer exists. Yesterday's price is not today's price. So I just want y'all to take watching that video. hope that inspires y'all and, and believe in yourself to chase your dreams and never let nobody discourage you because when somebody else don't see your value, there's always another person and they might be a stranger that see your value. And for me, I remember when I started my business, oh uh, man, over 20 some years ago, um, it was scary because you, you, you get so used to getting that weekly paycheck or that bi-weekly paycheck and you get comfortable with that. And, and, and you, you, you code, you become dependent on that. And I remember I was dependent on that and then I lose a job to get unemployment. And so one time when I lost a job and I couldn't get in unemployment and it was like, oh, we got to really make it happen. But we'll talk about my story one day. I just want to congratulate this young lady and just give y'all some motivation to say, hey, just because somebody don't see your value doesn't mean somebody else won't. See. Just because one person doesn't see your value doesn't mean another individual won't. Love y'all. Keep doing what y'all doing. We're going to keep it rocking, man. We're going to make these videos and keep pushing them out, trying to learn how this whole YouTube thing works. It's like a whole new career for me, man. I'm still doing my other career with my landscaping and my tree companies and stuff. But this here, running my mouth and talking, I like to do that. <laughs> I love y'all, man. We out of here.